Hi, I'm Danielle Hartman, and welcome to another episode of Ford and PA, the series about Pennsylvania's craft beer industry. Pennsylvania has a long history of coal mining from Pittsburgh to Scranton. We visit two breweries who are paying homage to this heritage. Brewing started for us many years ago as home brewers. We actually started making wine. We live in the country, we do a lot of outdoor stuff, so we pick berries, what have you, and we thought wine would be cool to make. So we started making some wine, and wine making was fun, but between batches seemed to be a very long time. So we needed something to fill the gap in our hobby. After we were making the home brews for quite a while, um, we, we would take it to parties. Uh, we, we would go to shows and, and kind of exhibit our beers. And our friends all liked it, but friends always liked free beer. We got friendly with some of the brewers that already had breweries established, and they had it, and, and they kind of were our, our push. They, they said, it's, it's time for you to start doing this kind of professional. So that was our, our little launching pad. How you doing, buddy? Good, how are you? Evansburg's a small community, very much small town USA, like you would watch on TV. Everybody's friendly. As far as beer scene is concerned, we've, we've had a couple tap rooms that kind of pave the way in town for, for craft brews, but um, they're still kind of tight-lipped on what they like. If you look at my tap list, we, we try to have a little bit of everything, but we don't sell many IPAs. We do have an IPA handle, but we don't put a ton of IPAs on like a lot of breweries do. We make them, but we rotate them through that one handle because our little town just isn't IPA ready yet. And there's some that, that like it, but most of them like the milder, fruity kind of things, more lager-like because that's what they grew up on here, I guess. You know, Yingling, Miller Lite, Bud Light, yada, yada, yada. Um, and we don't have anything like that. So uh, it, was a little, it was a little more difficult, but once they tried it, uh, they, they kept coming back. And, and, and those folks are some of our best customers now. Since we've been in it so long, we kind of uh, just came up with a whole bunch of recipes um, years ago, and we've improved upon them. Um, we have two mainstays that are on tap all the time. Our number one seller is called Jaggerbush. It is a red raspberry wheat. It's made with real red raspberry juice. And it was my wife's idea to come up with that one because when we first started, we went to a lot of wine shows. And the ladies at wine shows didn't particularly like beer. So she said we needed to come up with a beer that was more wine-like. And this one kind of is because it's got a lot of red raspberry juice in. So hence Jaggerbush was born and it, and it, sells, it sells a lot. It's, it's, our, it's definitely our flagship. Um, our second biggest seller is called Pick and Shovel. It is a German alt beer. Uh, we were kind of going after those uh, middle of the road kind of yingling like drinkers. It's, a, it's an amber ale and uh, it, it has been very well received too. The other ones, we kind of just dabble with different stuff. We make some of the same things that other people are making. We just call them really cool mining names or cool um, country kind of names. When we were home brewing, um, just like any other home brewer, we really hoped that someday it would turn into something. So from the get-go, uh, the name that stuck in my head was Coal Country Brewing. We live in the heart of coal country. My whole family on both sides, my father's side and my mother's side, were all coal miners. If you lived in any of the small towns near here, chances are you either worked in the steel mill or the coal mine or the railroad, one of those three, and they all fed off of each other. So it's just kind of like uh, me paying homage to my ancestors and the folks that lived and worked in this town because the industry is, is pretty much dead around here, but it kind of can live on in something like this. Black Rock Brewing Company, bringing the history of coal mining back to the area. Pottsville was a very uh, pivotal part in the coal mining period. In Schuylkill County, it was one of the largest cities in America around in the 1920s. People would come here all the time. I remember my dad telling me that when he was a kid, people around Christmas time, there were always people in the streets of Pottsville, and we don't see that anymore since coal mining left the region. It's 
So Blackrock was a company started by Bobby and Abby Weaver. They actually own the coffee shop down the street as well, Press Coffee and Books. And one of our biggest main concerns is the community. We just want to bring life back into Pottsville, opening businesses and bringing places where people can come and gather. So we have a variety of food here, including our signature pretzel logs. So we have pretzel dough that we stuff things inside like buffalo chicken, ham and cheese, cheesy pierogies, jalapeno poppers. We also have our Brussels sprouts, which are covered in like everything seasoning and have garlic aioli on top of it. And our salads, usually we have a strawberry or raspberry salad at all times. And we also have our blooming onion and it's huge. We usually have eight beers on tap at all times and we have our bottoms up tap system which actually fills the cup from the bottom using a magnet ceiling. So we have a variety of beers. We have our Black Rock Blonde Ale. We also have two IPAs, a Hazy IPA, which is our Cage Canary IPA. We also have our Session IPA, which is a Breaker Boy IPA. And we usually have some of Pilgaroo or Yinglings on tap as well. <laughs> Yingling is very popular here. We have a lot of people talking about Yingling, but it doesn't ever hinder our success just because we are a microbrewery. We offer something different than Yingling does. It's not really a competition if we're working with them. And I've heard a lot of customers who come in say that like they want a place where they can come where there's more than one brewery. It's really cool that we can partner with places like Yingling and Pilgaroo so we can forward our community aspect of hosting events that bring people together just for the greater good of Pottsville. People just love beer here. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Cheers.